And we just got the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips is here to break that down for us. Dennis. As he, not a lot of change. A live look at the satellite picture, Hurricane Dorian. This is one for the record books. Earlier on, with winds of 185 miles an hour, that was the strongest hurricane ever to make landfall in the Atlantic Basin. The other one, ironically enough, back in 1935, down in the Keys, the Labor Day hurricane. But I mean, you can just see the eye going due west. Winds 180 miles an hour, so down five miles an hour from earlier on. But the important number is the motion. Slower motion means there's a much larger probability that this is going to eventually stall and turn. Unfortunately, with such a massive system, I mean, look at the eye directly over the islands of Grand Bahama. So when you have that, the slower motion means they are just going to continue to see this horrific weather for another 24 to 36 hours. I want to mention a couple of things too. Even if the storm does not make landfall in Florida, it continues to put out some serious water. There's going to be a lot of beach erosion, a lot of surge, even if the hurricane force winds don't make it to the coast. There are the latest advisories. We have tropical storm watches in effect in the Bay Area from Highlands County to Polk County. Otherwise, the hurricane warnings and watches over on the east side of the state. This is the updated track and truthfully it looks exactly like the previous track. The models are pretty much locked in on this track. Of course, it doesn't mean that Dorian will do the same, but we've been saying this for several days now. Most of the time when you see a hurricane come in, this is what happens. In fact, areas, the Outer Banks of North Carolina, they get hit by hurricanes more than any place else. So clearly this is not unusual at all. In fact, most of the time to see a storm come in like an Andrew did, that would be more unusual. You see how clustered this is over a 12 to 24 and eventually a 48 hour period. That's that slow motion. But once it starts turning a little more to the north, either tomorrow night or early on Tuesday, it starts to accelerate, goes faster and pulls away. This if this verifies the center of the storm about 70 miles offshore, hurricane force winds extend about 40 to 45 miles offshore. So obviously if this happens, they will not see sustained hurricane winds along the coast. But you're still talking major surge, major beach erosion, and a lot of rain as well. So again, the spaghetti models, you see everything seems to be pretty much locked in for the time being, but we're getting some new numbers. The new GFS is coming out, and we'll talk about that coming up with your forecast in just a couple of minutes.